The Lord gave me a word as I was reading in Joshua about Rahab. And he says, he says, because of your faithfulness to me, I favor you and your family. I protect you and your family. Because of your faithfulness, you are blessed. Your family is blessed as well. Your family benefits from your faithfulness to me. So he gave me this word as I was reading about Rahab. Um, and I will get to that verse in a minute, but he gave me a few other examples of this. Genesis 7, 1 talks about Noah. It says, then the Lord said to Noah, enter the ark, you and all your household for you alone. I have seen to be righteous before me in this time. <clears throat> he says, Noah, you alone are righteous but you enter the ark and your household as well. So the Lord saved Noah and his family because of Noah's righteousness. Okay, Genesis 12 is Abraham. Okay, he said, I will bless Genesis 12, 3. I will bless those who bless you. I and the ones who curse you, I will curse and you and in you, all the families of the earth will be blessed. Genesis 19 talks about the story of Lot. And in verse 15, it says, when morning dawned, the angels urged Lot saying, up, take your wife and your two daughter daughters who are here, you will be swept. Uh, sorry. Okay. Let me start over again. <clears throat> Up, take your wife and your two daughters who are here, or you will be swept away in punishment of the city. But he hesitated. So he lot hesitated. So the men seized his hands and the hands of his wife and the hands of his two daughters for the compassion of the Lord was on him. And they brought him out and put him outside of the city. So even as Lot hesitated, the angels like drug them, like he, they took them by the hands and drug them outside of the city um, because God favored Lot and him and his family were saved. I'm going to come back to that. Okay. Um, let me, and I didn't, I didn't mark my place here in Joshua. So let me find it real quick. Okay, Joshua 6 talks about Rahab. Okay, and I'm just going to read starting in verse 23. So the young men who were brought... Sorry, I cannot read today. <laughs> so the young men who were spies went in and brought out Rahab and her father and her mother and her brothers and all she had. They also brought out all her relatives and placed them outside the city of Israel. They burned the city with fire and all that was in it, only the silver and gold and articles of bronze and iron they put into the treasury of the house of the Lord. However, Rahab the harlot and her father's household and all she had, Joshua spared. And she has lived in the midst of Israel to this day. She hid the mess for she hid the messengers whom Joshua sent to spy out Jericho. Okay. So because of Rahab, Rahab wasn't even one of them. She wasn't even one of them. Her family weren't even one of them. But because she um, did something for the Lord, the Lord spared, it says, her father, her mother, her brothers, and all she had. And they were brought out with all her relatives. All of her whole family was saved because of something that she did for the Lord, okay? Um, by, by hiding the spies. Um, so that's actually how this word came to be. The Lord, after I read this, um, he had me in, in the book of Joshua and I was reading a few chapters and finally I got to the story and this is how the word came, okay? Um, he said, because of your faithfulness to me, I favor you and your family. I protect you and your family. Because of your faithfulness, uh, you are blessed. Your family is blessed as well. Your family benefits from your faithfulness to me. 
Okay, so God is so awesome, you guys. Um, so like I, I was pondering all this, all, you know, these four examples he gave me. And I thought about it. I was like, well, okay, Lot, what about Lot and his wife? What about his wife? Like <clears throat> his life, his wife was taken with him outside of the city. But then she looked back and was turned into a pillar of salt. And so I asked the Lord about that. And he said, he said that, um, she was given the extra chance. Okay. Like everyone has responsibility for their own salvation. Okay. She, um, you know, it, 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 she was given, she was given the extra chance that Lot was given. She was given the favor that Lot was given, but she chose to misuse it. Like she chose, she chose her own way instead of God's way. Like they were told not to look back. She looked back. Okay. So she chose the wrong way, but the Lord had given her favor as well as Lot. Okay. He had given her the same favor that he had given Lot, um, because of, uh, because he favored Lot. Okay. So she was part of the family. She was given the extra chance. She was given the, the favor as well. She just misused it. Um, so he, he said to me that um, because of the righteousness of his children and those who are truly pursuing them and uh, him and s- truly following, following after him and being faithful to him, he gives favor and extra opportunities and extra chances for their loved ones, their families, um, because he favors us and we care for them and he cares for them as well. But because he favors us, he bestows these things upon our family. It is still up to them whether or not they're going to follow Jesus or not. But because of our faithfulness, he gives the, them these extra things. He blesses them and he favors them and, and he protects them. Um, I think that's all he has for me to say today. I found this word pretty interesting and such a blessing to me because, um, you know, there are things going on in my family that I know the Lord has stepped in and worked through and, um, knowing that that could have been because of my faithfulness to him, um, and other family members in my family and their faithfulness to him, you know, the fact that he has helped in certain ways is very encouraging, um, to me knowing that my faithfulness to him, uh, it affects his acts in, in the rest of my family's life. Um, okay. I love you guys.